Welcome, everyone, to the Telecom TV Super Panel in partnership with Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Intel on 5G, NFE, and IoT, defining the sweet spot. We strongly believe that 5G will be natively virtualized, and um, of course, it means that we could leverage the prior NFE and SDN deployments, NFE and SDN first. Uh, rollout to then uh, launch the 5G services. This time we have the opportunity not only to change uh, the, the, the technology and how the density, of, of, but also the way that we manage uh, the, the services and we build the services end to end. And that comes be precisely because this is a technology that promises to be native for an NV environment. So my call to action for all of us in the industry is that we should work together on that standardization, that interoperability, and kind of feed off of each other to drive that innovation cycle. Because this really isn't an evolution about technology, though it is keenly dependent upon it. It's really about revolutionizing the customer experience. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're going to have to evolve the way we think about how we do that. But for sure what will happen, and I think that that will, will be a brave statement, so hopefully I won't regret it in a couple of years, that we'll have a flexible network in a manner that allows us to try many things without being too expensive. Exactly. They really deliver the services that consumer wants, the enterprise wants. Their revenue and margin and profit has been growing tremendously riding the cloud practice. We got to bring that to the network to make 5G not just a delivery uh, pipe, but also a profitable business for all involved. Let, not the very least the operators. You have a super panel, but there's a lot of work that happens behind the scene to make it real. And that's what I'm hoping, that in the next sort of 18 to two years, we go down, heads down, tackle the difficult issues, and make progress.